another thing to, to think about is the average human hair is about right here. So a transistor is what, 10, 100, 1,000 times smaller than the average human hair. The transistor is in production, in manufacturing. The transistors in the lab are 10,000, 100,000 times smaller than a hair. So I, I think it's uh, important that we, talk, we, we realize the size range we're talking about. I think it's important that we realize that there's a you know, $100 billion industry, namely microelectronics, that is deeply involved in this technology. And I hope to leave you today with the feeling that this technology is really the machine shop technology of the 21st century. That's the idea I'd like to leave you with. So again, this, this group is a very, very um, uh, important group to, uh, to talk to and to uh, discuss this machine shop technology, the 21st century concept. You see, there's no law that says you can only apply this technology to microelectronics. And once you realize that, you understand what's sitting in front of us and the applications that are ahead of us. So it's a pretty darn neat technology, but it's important to understand what it is and what it isn't. So I'm going to give you some examples of what it isn't right now, what it isn't right now, at least right this very moment. And it is not nanobots going through your bloodstream cleaning out uh, plaque deposits. Uh, this appears all over the place. This scares me because it scares the public, because the public thinks these things are going to get loose. Um, this may be nanotechnology 50 or 100 years from now, but it is not nanotechnology today. Uh, we don't have these things that can go through your bloodstream to clean out the plaque.